Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Aisha Rosie, and this video is about my first Eid. Well, actually, it's not my first Eid, technically, because I did do the Eid after Ramadan. But when I was doing Ramadan, I was still a new Muslim. I didn't really know many Muslim people, and obviously, we were in lockdown as well. So I did the whole of Ramadan by myself, and inshallah, I'm going to make another video on my first Ramadan because that was actually a very interesting experience for me. But this one's about my first Eid. That Eid was just me by myself doing Eid prayer and I we were on lockdown. I didn't see anyone, I didn't really know any Muslims anyway, so I just stayed in the bedroom by myself. It was the way it was and alhamdulillah it was just me and Allah. So this was my first Eid al-Adha. So I'm actually, I'm married and my husband is obviously muslim alhamdulillah we got married we actually got married on the 4th of july inshallah i'll make a video about that again so i'm not going to go into that now but i will make a separate video about getting married during lockdown and the experience of that so my husband and i we lived together we had an amazing day we woke up early we did eid prayer together as the masjids around were not open because of the corona situation so we did jummah together in the house uh just me and him which was of course an amazing experience i guess people in the uk do eat differently everyone does eat differently depending on their culture culture comes into it a lot as well when it comes to eid but i was doing as much research as i could into eid and I couldn't find as much information on Eid al-Adha, so I was following a lot of Eid al-Fitra. So I was, we were doing the things like eating the odd number of dates. I wanted to try and follow the Sunnah as much as possible, which is obviously very hard living in the West. So we kind of incorporated a little bit of that and then incorporated a little bit of improvising to try and make it a nice day of giving and doing good as well. We went to see his family in Dewsbury. Dewsbury is in the area that got called for a lockdown. So Boris Johnson, who is our prime minister, he called a lockdown for these places. So our plans changed a little bit. Uh, we had some food, we said our salam. My husband wanted to say salam to his friends. We went around and he said salam to some of his friends and went to his cousin's house in Huddersfield. So you can see we did quite a lot of driving here, but it gets worse. There's a lot of driving in this, this Eid day. Then we went to see his granddad, who actually is in a very bad state. We visited the sick. Then we did my Eid gift, which you'll soon realize I'm a bit of a mushy animal lover type person. So alongside the Share the Meal app, which we gave money to, so we could feed a lot of people in poorer countries, we also decided we wanted to feed some animals. So we went to a farm, which is one of my favorite things to do because I'm such a loser. And we fed the goats and the donkeys and some really awesome sheep. And we had the most amazing time, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. I know it's a bit of a weird one, probably not a usual thing people do on Eid, but you know what, we had a really good time. We got to feed some of Allah's creatures. And then we came back home for a little bit of a rest. And then we drove from Doncaster to London, which is a three hour drive to go and see my mum in the evening. So we had an insanely busy day. We just tried to live our day as much as possible with helping people and being kind and being nice. And I guess that's kind of the essence of it. Obviously I know the reason why this day come because of Ibrahim's sacrifice of his son, which obviously he didn't sacrifice his son in case anyone doesn't know that story. But we celebrated in the best way we could in a land of Corona and in a Western country. I'm sure everyone does lots of different things for Eid, alhamdulillah, but we had a nice one, so. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. I hope you guys had an amazing Eid too. If you want to share your stories, please tell me. I'd love to know what you guys did. Get some inspiration, get some ideas for my next Eid, inshallah. Thank you for listening. See you next time.